Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jenna. I'm a professional face painter and I got very popular on TikTok doing 60 second face paints and kids react to face paint videos. I was asked to post tutorials and longer videos, so here I am on YouTube. Now, this is gonna be an actual design tutorial. We're gonna do one of my tigers and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. If you are very new to face painting and you have not watched my intro to face painting or face painting 101 video, go give that one a quick watch because those skills are gonna help you in doing a tiger. Let's start. We're gonna start with white. I'm gonna use a little petal brush that I got from Silly Farm. I will link it in the description. And for my white background, I always use Mehron Paradise White. It's my absolute favorite. It's very light and it's very powdery and it blends really nicely. Don't confuse this one with the Wolf White that I talk about in my first video that I use for my line work. I don't ever use this one for line work. Like I taught you in the first video, we're gonna wet the sponge and drag it through the paint. I've got a good amount of white on my sponge. We're gonna start with the eyes. Put the inner corner of the sponge in the inner corner of your eye and just tap a little bit around. Just like that, and do the other eye. Perfect. The next part that we use white in this design is in the muzzle of the cat. So right along your upper lip, like a milk mustache, put some white. I use the back end of the sponge. So now we've got this, which is not the cutest look. I look a little bit like Albert Einstein, but we're gonna move on. Next, we're gonna start to add our colors. As I mentioned, I'm gonna do an ice tiger. My favorite for this is the Twilight Pixie Cake from Silly Farm. I will link it. You can use a number of different color combinations or split cakes for your tigers. You can use rainbows. Sometimes I do it in pastel rainbow and any other of the choices that are on the website, whatever you like. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna spray our sponge and load it up with our ice tiger colors. I'm using one of the round sponges that I cut from Amazon. Those are linked in my first video. Spray it so it's damp but not soaking wet. Drag it across your paint. Once your sponge is fully loaded, it should look like this. All your colors in a nice neat row and not muddy. So my preference is that the teal goes in towards the nose. You can flip it if you wanna put the purple there, but I like the teal. We're gonna take our sponge and it fits really nicely in your face right here. And you just tap it around. Boop, 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 boop. You always wanna tap it. Don't rub it because it can get muddy, but fill in all the spots. That side looks good. Flip the sponge so that the same color is pointing in and do the other side. If you notice any colors are starting to get dry, like my purple was just getting dry, reload your sponge, spray a little bit more water on it, and do it again. Now we're gonna do the middle, same thing. Make sure your teal's pointing down. We're gonna come like this. So once we're here, you're gonna take just the teal end of your brush or whatever color you had pointing in the middle and color in your nose. Perfect. Now, before we move on to line work, the last thing I do is I take my white sponge one more time and I dot a little bit of white over here. So I have my white sponge. And don't go crazy and it doesn't have to be super thick, but it's just a little bit. And I like it to be on top of the ice color so you can vaguely see them through it. Perfect. We're ready to move on to line work now. I've got my round Silly Farm number four brush. It's the one I talked about in the first video. So I like to start right around the eyes. I'm going to come up here. This is a thick to thin. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, thick to thin. We have our thick to thin on either side. I'm gonna get some more paint. My brush was a little dry on this one, so I'm gonna touch it up. much better. Now we're going to close these off. I'll do this side first. This is basically a teardrop. So remember the ballet dancer, push it down, put her back on her toes. Same thing. Push the ballerina down and then let her back on her toes. Next, I'm going to do the muzzle. 
Muzzles take a little bit of practice to get used to the shape. It's a thick to thin, but it curves. You're gonna come down to your mouth, you're gonna go at the corner of your mouth, and you're gonna do a thick to thin that curves up towards the nose. Just like that, do the same thing on the other side. Now we have our kitty muzzle. From here, I like to do, it's my version of whiskers. They're basically teardrops, it's stylized whiskers, but they look really nice on the tigers. So I do three on either side, teardrops coming in. One, two, three, and then three on the other side. One, two, three. Perfect, stylized whiskers, they look great. For the nose, it's one swipe for me. Different painters do it different ways. I just take the brush and I come right along the underside of my nose and I kind of do a thick to thin. So my one swipe is this. That's it. That's how I do my tiger noses. It's very easy. You just let the brush flatten out a little bit on your nose, bring it to the center, and then do the same thing. And you get a really cool kitty cat nose. Then you're gonna bring that muzzle down. You're gonna just do a little line down to your top lip and then have it kind of V out. And that's that for the tiger muzzle. You ready to do the stripes? Now, painters all over have different ways of doing their stripes. I do mine very stylized and I do them at a slant because I think that they flow very nicely on the forehead. Load your brush, black, Remember, not too thick, not too thin. You want it to last, but you don't want it to drip. So we're gonna start at the, I use my center one first, and I go this way, but that's me. You can change it up if you want. That's my first line, and that's kind of my guide as to what all the other ones are gonna do now. From here, I'm gonna do one coming here. I'm gonna do another thin to thick. Push, wiggle, 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 bring it down. I'm gonna do another one of those over here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So you can already see by doing them on these slant, it just fits in the forehead really nicely as opposed to like up and down stripes. I'm gonna do another one that's kind of like a little V. And then one more little thick to thin over there. So there's my forehead stripes. Now we're gonna do the cheeks. We're gonna start at the corner right in here. We're gonna do a thin, push it down, wiggle, 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 bring it out. First stripe done. And you wanna work around your other stuff. That's the best part about designs like these. You can customize it, work around the stuff you've already done. So we're gonna bring another one. We're gonna go down, wiggle, 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 and bring it down there. And we're gonna do another one. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. So this side looks great. Don't worry that the color doesn't extend as far as the stripes do. This is just me doing it on myself. If you wanna extend that color out, you can, but I kinda of think it looks cool like this. Um, we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side now. Light, 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 push, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Drag it out, same thing, light, push, Drag it down. I'm gonna extend this one a little bit and get a little bit more paint. Same thing. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Did I do one in the middle? I did. So we'll put one boop, 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 right there. And now we're nice and even, and we've got the base of our tiger. Now we add little fun details. So for details, these are completely up to you. I'm a fan of dots. So I'm gonna load my brush with my Wolf White and I'm gonna add some dots just to give it some accent and pull a few things out. So if I start up here, you go, I, I'll do like one, two, three, maybe one, two in here, and then I'll do like one up here. And it just kind of gives it little pops to look at. I'll do the same thing in here. Maybe one over here. two in here too. So I'm pretty happy with that as far as dots go. The last thing we're gonna do with the white is we're gonna add the little fangs that I like to do. And it's really easy. It's basically just a teardrop down. Make sure it's not too wet for this because if your brush is too wet, 
and when you hit the kid's mouth, it will spread. So you want this one a little bit thicker and it's just little teardrop down. Little teardrop down. And you've got really cute tiger fangs. Um, at this point, you can also give the kids lipstick if you want to. I don't always with the tiger because it just gets to be a mess sometimes, especially if it's at a fair or a party and they're gonna eat. Again, up to you. I like to do a cat eye also, but I use a smaller brush for it. I have hooded eyes, and if I use too thick of a brush, it transfers and it won't dry right. It's the Silly Farm Luxe Swirl Paint Pal line, but it's a number two. Load my brush with my black. I do these very quick. I, if, I feel like if I go slow, I mess them up, but if I do them fast, they come out great. So, corner of my eye, I'm gonna come up and down. That's it. Same thing on the other eye. That's it, there's my cat eyes. They came out pretty good. This one is slightly longer. I can fix that if I want to, but it's honestly not enough that it bothers me. There. At this point, I'm basically done. Um, sometimes on kids, I will do dots in here, but I don't always do the cat eye on kids, depending on how old they are and if they're comfortable with me doing line work on their eyes. Because I did the cat eye on myself, I'm not gonna do the dots over here because I don't want it to be too busy. At this point, I would get a poof glitter and just, and now I'm a beautiful, sparkly ice tiger. I will go ahead and I'll obviously link all of the products that I used in the description. I would love for you guys to try this. If you wanna try it and do it on TikTok and tag me, um, I would love to see your guys' ice tigers. I know I'm supposed to say the things. Uh, subscribe, turn on notifications. I haven't got the whole YouTuber thing down yet, but do the things you're supposed to do. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.